today we are gonna be starting the construction of Venus, Apollos and Shrek dog room. Uh, they have so many bandanas and so much clothes and stuff that I wanna have a place to store them and we also want a room to have them when we got visitors. Uh, a lot of time visitors don't want them to be all over their black leggings and stuff and I want them to keep them inside in the AC. So we are making a dog room and today is the first day of the build up. So this one here is gonna be the dog room. This is the old door that the house have. We are changing this. And the room is pink. Obviously, we don't want a pink room. Um, we already started patching some of the holes that were in the wall. We have to finish patching the bottom and sand it down to paint it. Then we have to build in the closets. When we finish with the closet, this room is gonna be for Venus and Apollo and Shrek. <laughs> So we're doing the closet for the three of them. One side is gonna be for Venus, one side for Apollo, and one side for Shrek. We got the doors from Lowe's and we're gonna be spray painting them in black to match more our style that we're going in the house. For the closet project, we're going with walnut plywood, which is cheaper than solid wood. And also is for a closet, so we don't want it to spend that much money. And here is Venus supervising through the window, seeing us outside with all the tools. She's wondering why she's not outside with us. We're going to make the big cut outside in the driveway of the house. Like that, we don't have to bring inside such big pieces of wood. And it's a lot less heavier if we cut the big pieces outside and then bring them inside. The reason we went with walnut as you may have seen in a lot of our DIY projects, we love walnut. The dog bed of Venus is walnut. The thing to hold the leash is walnut. Even the thing to hold the water bowls, we have used walnut. So we really like this wood. It's a little more expensive, but this time we're using plywood instead of solid wood, which is save us a lot of money, especially that is for the closets. Not that many people are gonna see them. Uh, so, but we still want them to last a really long time, especially the, the dogs are going to be going in and out, probably trying to smell the treats and stuff. On day two, we are starting with the meter saw to start doing the short cuts. Uh, this is going to be the bottom part of the closet where we have the drawers and some of the shelves. We are doing three big sections in the closet cause we want one side for each one of the dogs. On the bottom, we are having drawers for having like the stuff they are of season, like the bandanas for like Christmas or fall and all of that. Obviously Shrek doesn't need something so big like Venus and Apollo, but I will find stuff to put in his side Maybe like the shampoos, the brushes, and all of those things that they share. Because it's plywood, we have to use this thing that is called edge bending to make it look like it's a solid piece of wood. It saves a lot of money, it's a little more time consuming because you have to cover all the ends, but at the end it looks pretty good. This is the downside of using plywood, it's time consuming, you have to do this to all the front part of the wood, like that you don't see is plywood that much but all the money that we save is worth it. <laughs> on day three, we start with the router to do a groove on the panels, like that we could put a back panel, so we don't see the wall behind the closets. On 
the next step is the shelf pinholes and we're gonna use this accessory from Festo for the router this will help us to make the holes perfectly to make them more adjustable so when we want to move the shelf out of place if we need a larger or a smaller spot this is what we will use Venus, are you supervising mommy? yes, you're the supervisor for the closet? For the top shelf, we're doing the pinholes around nine and a half inches between each other because we know we don't are gonna storage anything that is a lot smaller than that, and I think that's enough space. We didn't want to do every single hole, so we're doing more or less three adjustments every nine inches. However, for the bottom one, we are doing every single hole like that. We have more adjustability. the next step we're gonna be painting finally the room this pink color is driving me crazy so we just have to sand down the plaster from the holes in the wall from some art tvs and the thing in the bottom of the floor what is the name baseboard baseboard <laughs> for the three main walls i'm using sherwin william lacy gray when I choose this color in the store, it looked a lot lighter than what it looked like when I started putting it in the walls. I was a little scared when I saw how dark this light gray is. I was expecting to be a lot lighter because I'm painting one wall black to be a contrasty wall. And this one looking so dark, I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna love it at the end, but I put it in the wall, it's better than the pink, so let's move on. For the dark color, we are using Sherwin William Iron Ore. This color, I absolutely love it. It's the one that I put in the guest bathroom and I also put it in the laundry. It's black, but it's not black black. We have a darker black in the master bedroom and in the living room, but I think this one is my favorite. While we wait for the paint in the room to dry, we're gonna be sanding down the walls of the closets. We're gonna do that inside because it's been raining a lot. It's raining season already in South Florida. You guys know we love to use the domino tool. It's the easiest way to put together two pieces of wood that they match perfectly. We're also gonna be labeling each piece to make sure we know which one goes where. In between some of the dominoes, he's dry fitting the pieces to make sure everything fits correctly. And then when we put it together inside the room, everything is gonna fit perfectly. And the, all the cuts are correct. And of course, another Home Depot trip. This time we're getting the topper for the middle of the cabinets. The part that is gonna be contrasted, we're gonna paint it black. We bought this paint from Home Depot from the brand Burr. Is we thought they was gonna be the perfect black to paint this top layer. There's gonna be the contrasty color, but at the end we didn't like how it looked with this color. Also, we didn't like the texture that the roll on give. So pretty much this was a huge waste of time and money. We ended up sanding it down back to the raw material. And we ended up painting with a spray paint.
we're using again the Fuji paint gun. This is the same one that we use to paint the doors and the same paint that we use to paint the doors. We like it a lot better than with the roll. It doesn't leave any marks. And if you're doing the whole house, it's very worthy to get the gun. You do every job a lot faster. And we use the same gun for the cabinets with a clear poly to do a coat so if it gets water or anything that falls on it is easier to clean and it protects the wood. This is gonna be the base feed for the cabinet before we put them inside the closet. And this project took forever. I was hoping to have the closet done a lot faster. But we are doing everything ourselves and everything it takes forever. Plus it's rainy season. So we start, we do like one hour of working and then start raining. We have to stop. It's going crazy. Venus, mommy. You're in the way. You inspect that body. Make sure that is doing a good job. And after so many days, we are finally finally putting it together i'm so excited to see it getting in place and looking like a closet i know DIYs take longer if you buy it from ikea or from a place that does cabinets but it took a lot longer than what i was expecting but i'm so so happy that it's finally here and it looks just like we want it to look Now that the closet is in place, the next stop is the drawers. Now it's time to put the rags for the clothing. These are greenies for Shrek. These ones are from 5 to 15 pounds. He's actually 7. Are you seriously going to put one by one? Are you serious? <laughs> I was going to put them one by one. You know when people put that little voice that says one eternity later? That's... <laughs> These ones are actually Venus and Apollo's favorite treats, the greenies. So let's see if they fit in this container that I got from Target. It looks super cute. I use the big one for tennis balls, they are Venus' favorite.
I'm not the best organizer. If you're trying to see how to organize a closet, I'm not Marie Kondo. <laughs> These ones are actually Shrek's favorite. They're super soft. He's missing almost all his teeth. So these ones are perfect for him. The Wimsies, they're actually a lot bigger than the Greenies, so I got a bigger container. This one is from Petco. And actually, these are not the biggest uh, Wimsies that they come. They come actually bigger than this, but they didn't have them when I went to Petco this week. <laughs> I'm actually really short so I have to use a step to put the bandanas here but look how gorgeous this clip they are I believe from Amazon and they came 30 on a package and they look super cute to put the summer bandanas here once summer is done I will put them in one of the drawers and take out all the full bandanas all the information she said was incorrect. They were from a different store. We'll put the link in the description. <laughs> and they were 10 to a pack. <laughs> <laughs> they, they didn't need so many words like Terry. We bought three packs. Oh. All right, and now moving on from here, we go to the other side. Oh, look, some empty shelves. Here we have Venus's raincoat and some of her hoodies. And these are some of her pajamas for when she's chatting and her ugly Christmas sweater. She has plenty of more clothes. I just have to look at the boxes because we still have half of our stuff in boxes. And Apollo's is already there. He pretty much have the same. It's the same raincoat. He have a few more of the hoodies. Some of them are to match with Shrek, like this one for Halloween. Shrek also have that one. And this one for Valentine's, it was to match with Shrek. This was a, cream, a Christmas pyjama. Venus have this one, but it's actually in the laundry because she used it the other day, but she was shedding a lot. Paulo has way more clothes than Venus over here. It looks like he has a shopping problem. <laughs> he does have more stuff than Venus. Yeah. The clothes department. But she has more bandanas and more sunglasses. Guys, do you like your closet? Is it awesome? It's awesome, right, Nashi? Oh, yes. Right on top, I put all the stuff for traveling for Shrek, his traveling bed, and his two carriers. In here, we have all the summer bandanas, which soon we're going to be changing for the fall bandanas. And here are all the bows for Venus. And that's the remote to control the light in the closet. And here are their brushes for Shrek and Venus and Apollo. Down here we have some grooming stuff and also some first aid stuff. A blaster, very important. And down here we have more grooming stuff like waterless shampoo and regular shampoo, wipes, headbands. And on the top shelves we had tennis ball and some treats. You saw me putting most of these treats on the beans. Up here we don't have much, only we have Venus's Rex specs, I don't know where Apollo's are. And this is Venus's section, I put her life jacket, her raincoats, her hoodies, and Apollo's section. 
Apollos is a little more full than Venus, but pretty much is the same. Here we have our first drawer. This one is for Venus's sunglasses. She has quite a collection of sunglasses for her photos on Instagram. The second drawer is Shrek drawer. He have in these honeycombs from Amazon most of his shirts. And this one are the one that are very thick that they don't fit in the honeycomb. Like his jackets for winter, his shrink coat. Uh, I don't know how to organize those because they take a lot of space. So I've been looking for options. This one is going to be also for Shrek stuff. He still have more stuff in boxes. This one is Venus and Apollo's colors. They have their feet colors, their link color, and other different type of colors that they use. Also, they have their reflective and with light harnesses there. And in the last drawer is the rest of their bandanas. We have the Christmas section, the fall section, and then last, the spring section. We're going to be changing the summer section really soon for the fall. So that's going to be next. And stay tuned for part two of the room tour. When we decorate the room and we put in the finished touches like the curtains, toy bean, doggy beds and all of that jazz. Well, that was it for today's video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.